Hey, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. Art and I uh, are reviewing the Vintage Film Channel's library, great library of all kinds of um, heretofore, I call them lost videos, television shows, old films. And today we've got a really interesting uh, piece of video or television history. It's called The Christopher's Show. And uh, they were famous for, you can see up there, it's one better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. This is an early and real early television inspirational series that became very famous, lasted forever and ever, still going strong in other media. Um, and it's really wonderful to see it on the Vintage Film Channel because it's so unique. Uh, we're used to seeing sitcoms, things like that, but... Grace found this old show, The Christopher Show. We'll show it to you, bits and pieces, and talk about it. It's a, a wonderful find. Yeah, before, before we start running it, I, I want to say that uh, uh, this is a part of something that was, I believe, in the early 50s. Uh, and I remember seeing these on TV. It's not something I was looking for, but they had so many amazing guests. Yes. Uh, name guests, Dolores Hope, in this case, Ray Bolger, uh, who were being interviewed in one point or another, I'm just going to let it run. Uh, I mean, I, my preference was Davy and Goliath. Okay, if I wanted to get a, a story with a moral <laughs> morality to it, I loved Davy and Goliath. Well, that was a cartoon show, but it I, was, I, I also like that. Also, was Jimmy. very successful. I also like Gumby. So, <laughs> you know, uh, and I don't think Grace has one of those. But here's Ray Bolger. Um, yeah. And as I said, I remember having, while well, I did search it out, if I was in front of the TV and I would see one of these things, they would have these fascinating, well-known personalities. Yes. Uh, I think at that time it was strictly a, a Catholic guest, but uh, they, are, they, they do claim to be ecumenical and uh, faith, no faith. They don't care. They, they're telling a story. And of course, right. it, 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 they always... Speak well for the Catholic faith, uh, but uh, they were they were fascinating little stories. Uh, yeah. Some of them seemed to be contrived; uh, others were probably genuine. Uh, but it was it, it was an entertainment form. But this was an early form of religion using radio, and in this case, TV. And further with the uh, the Christophers, they now have podcasts with Dolly Parton and Kristen Chenoweth and and other. Sure, name stars. Still going strong, yeah. But uh, you know, uh, John, John, you you also uh, recognize this as sort of the beginning of using TV for uh, uh, sending the message, selling the message. Well, I don't think it's the beginning at all. Um, it's it's early, and it's mm -hmm. one of the first examples. Um, but got to remember, most of uh, television when they found were looking for content, they get went to radio. Mm -hmm. Radio, right from the beginning had uh, lots of what we call televangelists mm -hmm. today, you know, preachers uh, using that medium uh, to reach people with their religious message. I think what makes the Christopher show different in 1945, and, and this is, I think, an early one. This isn't, I I'll tell you in a minute why I think this is not um, uh, after 1952. But the Christophers, what they did is they approached this, it, they created this organization called the Christophers, created by a Catholic priest, uh, Father Keller, there on the left. Um, and they created this as a almost non-sectarian, obviously Catholic, obviously Christian, um, but they didn't preach. And what they right. did is they, they presented moral messages, inspirational messages that anybody could, could get behind. Their whole idea was to light one candle rather than curse the darkness. And they were very successful as a program. It was on the networks. We, hard to picture a religious program on the networks today. Yeah. But it was on the networks for a number of years. And I think this was one of the early ones before 1952. And 1952, they went off the networks, as I recall, and they went into syndication, which means they went station by station all around the country. And they were in just about every market. Very successful for many years, I think until 2012, at which time they chose to go into new media. And as you mentioned, Art, right now they've got podcasts that go all around the world. Right. And uh, they still do the same thing. I think they present famous people 
uh, sharing an inspirational message and a lot of stories. As you see, um, here's Father Keller. He gets up after talking to Ray Bolger and he goes over and talks to a couple with uh, an inspirational story that pretty much anybody can use. Right. Uh, so anyway, th these guys were, I should say these guys, the Christophers um, were are, and are still, by the way, extremely well respected within the television um, and media industry. They established, I think in 19, let me see if I wrote it down anywhere, in 1949, they established the Christopher Awards. Mm -hmm. And the Christopher Awards are given to any, pretty much any medium, anybody who made a program anywhere that is inspirational, uplifting. That's the whole idea. I think I wrote a quote down. Uh, they have, the, the, you win a Christopher Award to affirm anything that will affirm the highest values of the human spirit. That was their general message. And they're very successful. I have to say, if you recall, and I'm sure everybody in our audience will at least recall, Dr. Robert Schuller, um, the Hour of Power, the Crystal Cathedral here in Orange County, where you are, right? Um, my impression of Dr. Robert Schuller is that he, at least to a certain degree, because he was having a, he, he, they broadcast his religious um, service. Right. But when Schuller got up to talk, he did what Keller is doing on the Christophers. They talked about these, I, I hate to say general, but he talked about morality and good and bad rather than preaching a particular right. Bible quote or a particular tenet of a particular religion. Obviously, this is all uh, Christian based, but um, I think this show is influential in that regard. And yeah. I, you mentioned a couple of other religious broadcasters who uh, who are not the televangelist lecture type. Right. They're, they're the inspirational speakers. But, I, but I, think, I think really the message of all of this is that this is why we love the Vintage Film Channel. Because yep. this is stuff that, quite frankly, I never would have tripped over and looked for. But because Gracie has found so many amazing different bits and pieces and then restored them to the extent that they're better resolution than they were yeah. in the case of uh, TV on original TV or if they were an old print, she's learned how to, right. she, she has that expertise to make it a really clean version. So virtually they're, they're pleasant to watch. And even now she's colorizing stuff, uh, yeah. which she wasn't doing back in this day. But the really interesting thing was Vintage Film Channel either VintageFilmChannel.com or right. go to YouTube and find Vintage Film Channel. And she yep. has dozens of pop, once popular, very popular uh, series and uh, movies and obscure stuff like this. That brings yeah. back a sense of my childhood and I think of everybody else's. Of, oh, yeah, I remember that. And it, it's a pleasant remembrance of that time. So we you encourage bet. you to get the Vintage Film Channel and get the kind of pleasure that we get out of it. And every yeah. week, that's why we want to report on something we've seen there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had completely forgotten about this show until we ran across it. I, so I'm, I'm very pleased that Grace has saved it for the rest of us. It's a good, you know what, it's not only a good look back, it's kind of a good look forward. A lot of these old shows we look at and we say, you know, they still hold up today. So yeah. thank you, Gracie. Thank you, Vintage Film Channel. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.